Hey there, I'm Jake Blocker, welcoming you to a sneak preview of our new podcast, Water Cooler Wisdom. Together with my co-host, Rachel Grail, and a lineup of amazing experts, we're set to make your workday just a little bit easier and more enjoyable. Here's a sneak peek of our first few episodes. Enjoy. There's so many things that are going on in a given week. I mean, leadership has gotten really challenging the last 10, 15 years. There's just Every week, you've got tons of priorities. Not only are you trying to manage your own work, but you're really trying to manage the work through others that I think delegation just takes a back seat. We know that it's that important vehicle, but it it goes to the back of the bus. It's just not a priority in our week to week. And so I think because we de-emphasize the the time and focus around it, it just gets, it, it doesn't get the investment and really the time that is necessary. So that's my perspective is just that leaders don't put enough time into delegation. It's not that they don't want to delegate. It's really that they just are not disciplined enough to sit down, think strategically and really carve out time to make it happen on a consistent basis. It's like you're trying to balance all these different things. And if anything falls through the cracks, it comes back to you. So it's very risky and challenging. And um, I really do agree. You know, you have to have intention behind it. And you're not just looking at the results you produce, but you got to look at the people that are you're going to delegate to, whether it's your direct reports or others within the organization. You have to invest the time. So it's a risk. Well, I think it's funny because this meeting, the problem with this meeting ties very well into the very first scene of the episode where Michael runs in and he's like, quick, I need ideas now, now, now. And nobody can really think straight because he hasn't set it up. They don't even really know what he's talking about, but he essentially does the same thing when he goes into the meeting. He gathers everyone together and everyone has like, it's all of their cumulative time and they have no idea what this is about. And then he just says, all right, let's go, go. No bad ideas. And the first person says an idea and he's like, mm, that's a bad, <laughs> that's a bad idea. idea. So he's eroding yeah. trust. He hasn't set things up. I mean, first things first, prevention is worth a pound of intervention. He didn't prepare anyone for this meeting. People don't know what it is that they are bringing. If you want to have a meeting and you want it to be productive, let people know what it's about. Let people know what you're trying to get out of it. Give them some time to think about it before you get into the meeting. So if you know what Interaction Associates is all about, you know that's one of the things that we're going to tell you to do. Prepare for your desired outcome and help people get on board before you ask them to perform. That's just a teaser of what's to come. Starting January 18th, 2024, join Rachel Grell and I every other week for a new episode of Water Cooler Wisdom. We'll be diving into the latest workplace topics, trends, and tips with our expert guests, as well as a few surprises along the way. Make sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. We look forward to having you join our conversations. See you soon.